What's up guys, can all decide? Man, I hope you guys are staying safe. For those of you guys in the northern states, I hope that you guys are getting a little bit better weather. They finally let us get back to the beach. So we're out and about a little bit, trying to stay away from people. You know what, no matter what you hear about Florida, it's not too busy out there. So it's not like spring break. So I'm going for a little walk, hanging out with my people. But want to talk to you guys a little bit about something that's really important. I get the question all the time, what's the best for like new people to do or any trader to do? Should I do Forex? Should I do stocks? Should I do crypto? Should I do options? Look, if you're serious about making this a long-term thing, and I got no dog in this, by the way, because I do pretty much a little bit of everything. I got no dog in this. If you want to make long-term a chance to stay in this business, which means you want to trade something, you want to make money without losing what you have, and then over time, you want to make income, and then over time after that, you want it to be your sole income, then stocks is the only way to go, all right? If you want to stay in this business long-term, the best place to start is stocks. No matter what anybody else tells you. You guys probably even see it, even look at my YouTube channel. You make a video, who's posting the stuff in the comments? Hey, check out my Forex signals. Like, what's a signal? Hey, I learned from Claudio Flabusi that you can make $72,000 a day through his Forex signals. You go through somebody else's YouTube channel, to be like some other kind of, Ryan, Prodder helped me get where I need to be. ForexSignalsSuckD.com. It's always like that, right? So the biggest scams in all trading is always Forex. Yes, there's a time and place for it. There's a time and place for it. But it's not where you start and it's not your central thesis, all right? The world doesn't revolve around the Forex market. When you hear people talk about this or that, it doesn't revolve around the Forex market. The second part is Forex trading sucks. You look at the same five tickers, they move around like two pennies a day. You ever see like a US dollar versus whatever, right? Canadian dollar, the loonies, right? US dollar versus the loonies. What is a move? It's like two pennies. So then you got, what you got to do is like load up on a lot of margin to try to shred like one third of the two pennies of the move. Come on. We took a trade today in BYND, right? Stock was at 100, it gapped up to 113, finished at 129. It's not like some amazing ripper, like some penny stock pumper that, right, people are like just flaunting to get people to buy stuff. Right, it's like regular company, monster move. In stocks, you have 8,000 different instruments. You can use software to find the ones that are moving the most. They're liquid, they're safe. And frankly, they're just fun, right? You have a chance to make money, but there's more opportunity. That's a huge thing. This is the other thing with Forex. The people that sell the Forex is the sketchiest, yeah, I can't say the F word because there's kids around, sketchiest mofos you've ever seen. Multi-level marketing, pass. I used to sell Cutco knives, stinks. You ever go into like your relative's house with a basket of knives that cost like 600 bucks? They're gonna look at you. I did it for a while. People don't look at you the right way, I'll tell you that. They gotta look at you the right way. You ever try to sell those vacuums, like those $3,000 vacuums? Try to, I did that too. You go in, you knock in, you try to do like a little, little show and tell with a monstrous expensive vacuum. You can get vacuum for like 50 bucks, right? People look at you like crazy. Those are the Forex people. It's multi-level marketing, motivational quotes, right? Throw those all out the window. What's, you know, none of that stuff matters. Forex is designed for one thing, to get 
the most ignorant, the most poorly educated, and I'm not talking about like general populace, but the most ignorant, poorly educated about finance and trading to buy their stuff. Why? To open a Forex account, you need 50 bucks. I've actually seen as low as 25 bucks. They'll give you a thousand to one margin, so you can YOLO as many trades as you want, right? <laughs> How awesome is that? You put 25 bucks in an account, they give you like 20,000 buying power, you get like one awesome YOLO. The problem is if it goes down like one tenth of one percent of one penny minus one hundredth of a penny, then the YOLO trade is busted. You lost your 25 bucks, you lost your 50 bucks. So Forex is designed, number one, by greasy marketers. And look, I'm not, I mean, I'm a little oily too, right? So, you know, I got no qualms about a greasy marketer, but it's designed by the greasiest marketers to go after like, people that can't afford to trade stocks or futures or something that's tangible. And they're preying after people that are going after like get rich for quick schemes. And that's where it gets a little dirty, right? So it's boring. They're only going after you because you have small accounts. By the way, it's boring. You got greasy marketers. There's only a handful of things to look at. But frankly, the biggest game in the town is always stocks. Now on the other side of things, like, you know, people ask about options. So I do think that options can be a part of your strategy. But if you're like brand new and you want that to be your whole strategy, probably not a good idea. The reason that people like stock, like options, is very similar to Forex without the very, very greasy marketers. People like options because you get 100 to one leverage or you know whatever it might be. You know, but it, you're gonna buy a couple of contracts. Now you got 100 to one leverage on each one. So you can have a very, very small amount of money. You get 100 to one leverage. It preys on you to think you could take your $100, turn it to $5,000. And guess what, you can't. You have a 2% probability or 1% probability of YOLOing a trade with 100 bucks and you get 5,000, 10,000 bucks. Not always the case. Now where I think options play comes in play is when you have a portfolio, when you've been trading stocks and you need a hedge or you know how stocks move. You know how to day trade, you know how to swing trade and you're using options to amplify what you're seeing in particular stocks that you're trading, that's where you get an edge. That's where you're taking something that's a little bit speculative, but you're applying it to your overall strategy and you're enhancing it. So there's a difference between yellowing something because you don't got any cash to actually taking it and using the margin to help you out. So in the end, you got stocks, you got Forex, you know, all this junk. You always start with stocks, you can move on to other stuff. Now like, look, I'm not hating on people that are trying to trade with like 100, 200 bucks, but most likely if you have 100, 200 bucks, study, simulate, get a second job, do some Ubering, do some lifting, do something, build up that bankroll while you simulate, and then you go start trading. If you want to trade a small account, frankly, micro futures, I'll do some videos on that. Micro futures is probably one of the best ways to go. Like if you're just trying to do like a hundred, two hundred dollars. Now you're not gonna like turn that into a million dollars. You're not gonna probably turn it into anything. But if you want to like just learn how to do some stuff, you got like a handful of hundred bucks, and you don't want to simulate, you don't want to do stocks, you don't want to listen to anything I say because you want to do it your own way. Don't do forex, don't do options. Go with some micro futures. You can have like some trades, like a, the margin on micro futures contract for like, I trade the MNQ, that's a NASDAQ micro futures. The margin on one contract is like 50 bucks. So you can go in with something like that and at least have a little bit of fun. You'll probably lose your money anyways, but you at least have some fun and stay in the game a little bit longer than Forex or options where the leverage is crazy. Guys, uh, hopefully uh, that helps. Look, we all start somewhere, but 
I have all my students and I teach all different types of stuff. I trade futures, I trade crypto, I trade everything. I have all my students start at the stock market. Till you have a basic understanding of what's happening in the markets, you can't really understand what's happening in the rest and know that the rest is preyed upon getting people that don't know better to give you their money. So I hope that helps. I love you guys. You email me, K-U-N-A-L at B-U-L-L-S-O-N dot W-S. If you got any questions, you can always hit me up on my phone. This is my personal cell, 517-974-1480. I love you guys. Smash that like button. God bless you guys. See you around. I got to do class in 20 minutes. Off to the race.